We've all had bugs in our home from time to time. For some people, there have been more than a few, and they've had to deal with situations like a whole hornet's nest in their attic or a termite infestation in their cellar. But some infestations, some infestations are on a whole other level. These are the worst bug infested houses. Number 15. Spiders. Now, spiders can be kind of cute, depending on... no, never mind. These arachnids are totally terrifying. And when they find their way into your home, you don't necessarily need to kill them. Spiders actually hunt down and eat other insects. So in the end, they help you to keep all the other creepy crawlies out. But be careful though, because these little guests can overstay their welcome really fast. Take this woman's home for example. You walk into your daughter's room and you find a huge pile of spider in the corner. What do you do next? Burn the entire house down and leave the country, of course. Well, the mother definitely did find the best solution in the case. I mean, that pile of spiders horrifying. Usually spiders don't harm humans unless they're provoked. Most of the provocations are a foot coming into a shoe or rolling over in bed and beginning to squish it, though most bites are harmless. But in certain places of the world, you can actually find some very poisonous spiders. So do your research and see if there are any in your area and then watch where you step. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the sweet topic. The reason we've pulled this one aside as our sweet topic for the day, rather than leave it with the rest of the list, is that it's a tiny bit off topic. It isn't a bug infested house, it's a bug infested car. But the infestation is so huge we simply had to show you. Just look at the sheer number of wasps that have invaded this thing. They've totally consumed the automobile like venom consumes carnage. The bugs in question are yellow jackets, a type of wasp. The nest is totally swallowed up the car's interior, and the exterminator said that the hive was so huge he could even smell the venom. Truly horrifying. How do you even deal with such a thing? It's probably just best to set the car ablaze. Comment down below with the hashtag sweet topic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. And with that, let's keep things moving. Number 14, House Centipede. Even more terrifying than spiders is the centipede with all of its legs creepy crawling all around. These bugs can also be very chunky and thick. One of the worst parts about these bugs is that they move super duper fast. Nothing's worse than one of them hanging out on the floor and then as soon as you see it, it darts under the couch. And yet, as nasty and weird and squiggly as they are, they do serve a purpose around your home. Just like spiders that hide in corners, centipedes actually kill pests like mites and roaches and flies. With the centipede, it's kind of a double-edged sword. You'll get all the destructive and irritating bugs out, but you keep all those nightmarish ones in. Centipedes also don't create nests or even carry fatal diseases, so they're pretty harmless. Though seeing a little pile of these guys somewhere in the house is probably going to make you scream louder than if you were on a roller coaster. So now that we have the protectors of the household out of the way, we're going to move on to some of the ones that can really screw your home up. Number 13. The Carpenter Ant. Now, compared to the last two entries, you're probably thinking to yourself, well, ants can't possibly be that bad, right? Well, you'd be very, very wrong. Ants not only destroy the foundation of your home, but they can from time to time bite you, and some of them are even poisonous, depending on where you live, of course. One of the most common and most destructive of all ants is the carpenter ant. Now, much like termites, carpenter ants are pests that destroy wood. And normally, they'll help to rid the forests of dead or decomposing trees or pieces of wood, but when they find their way into your home, they're pretty much just going to destroy everything. 
Homes that contain moist or rotting wood are more at risk than healthy homes, though worker carpenter ants are usually very shiny and dark brown to black in color and can also be anywhere from a quarter of an inch to a half an inch long. There are even winged carpenter ants, but these are a little bit more rare to come across. The winged ants are the reproductive ones, not the worker ones, and there are many different types of carpenter ants, but the general rule of thumb is that the carpenter ant is bigger than an outdoor ant. Number 12. Camel Crickets now, one of the most terrifying things that can happen with a bug, even worse than finding a crap load of them in a pile, is having one jump straight at you. With this demon-looking camel cricket, it's not only very possible, but very likely that they're going to jump straight at your face. Crickets will jump at you as one of their defense mechanisms just to try and scare you away. And the answer to the question on everyone's mind is yes. These little cricket critters can bite you. Now, is it all that likely? Not really. But even if they do, it's not really all that painful. They aren't poisonous either. So why are these little guys considered to be pests? Well, they're the omnivores of the insect community, meaning that they're going to eat everything. And when I say everything, I mean everything. They can eat fabric, wood, plastic, literally anything and everything in your home. So if you do find one of these buggers in your house, you need to get it out real fast. When you have a first look at a camel cricket, it almost seems like a spider, but then you quickly notice that it only has six legs and it's hopping around. So make it hop itself right outside the door. Number 11, cockroaches. Now cockroaches are the godfathers of infesting the homes of men since the dawn of time. Cockroaches are indestructible bugs that can literally hiss at you. While they aren't entirely indestructible, of course, you can squish them, it's not really suggested that you do that. Because when you squish a cockroach, their eggs come out, and you're basically helping them to lay them when you do. Roaches are notoriously good at exploiting the weaknesses of your walls and finding ways into your house, no matter what you do. I mean, these are insects that have been around since the time of dinosaurs, so if they could survive that extinction, who knows how much farther they'll actually go. Cockroaches carry so many germs and potential diseases that they're kind Kind of like the living embodiment of filth. Having a roach infestation could be incredibly dangerous to your health and anyone else who's living in your house, and it's best to call a professional as soon as you think an infestation is starting. Don't call someone before it's too late, because if you walk into your bathroom for a midnight pee and there are a bunch of them in there when you turn the light on, you might as well just burn the house down. Number 10. Fleas. Now, the next one's not really that huge of a concern for humans on a health level, except if you own pets, then you should definitely be worried. Fleas can be tricky, not only because they're very difficult to physically spot, but they also reproduce at a very rapid rate. When they get into your home, you basically have to clean everything just to be completely sure that you actually got rid of them. And even then, it's not really 100% certain. Fleas can and usually do enter in the home on the backs of pets. A flea that's latched onto your pet can bite it up to 400 times per day. Just imagine how annoying that would be. But the irritation isn't really the biggest problem with these creatures. The biggest problem is that they can transmit disease to your furry little friend. There are many remedies and medications to give your itchy friend. You can consult with your veterinarian and then call a friend or someone else who can help you clean your house because the fleas have probably already laid their larvae everywhere. Number nine, mice. Now we've run the full gamut, and when we go from a horrifying nightmare-inducing insect to a fluffy little mice, you don't have to be fooled by the flurfiness of them. They can really cause a problem in your home, not only on a structural basis, but also in terms of viruses and the overall health of everyone that you live with. The common house mouse is not too dangerous to your health, but if you're unlucky enough to have a deer mouse, well, you need to take care of it 
immediately. Not only will it pee and poop all over the place and make it stink, but these mice are carriers of many diseases like hantavirus, salmonellosis, and listeria. Now, I don't think I need to explain what a mouse looks like or how you can spot one because, I mean, come on, people, it's a mouse after all. Everyone knows what they look like. You need to be quick about getting them out. Female mice actually produce year-round and are capable of producing around 10 litters of babies. Now, I know, picturing a litter of baby mice is just so cute, so maybe you don't have to kill them to get them out. There are other ways. Number 8. Mosquitoes now, mosquitoes aren't really known to infest your home, so to speak, unless you live in a swamp like Shrek. No, these flying pieces of crap are more of a nuisance than anything else on the list. They not only make the worst buzzing sound when you're trying to sleep, but even if one of these little a-holes gets into your home, I'm sure you're going to wake up in the morning with a leg or arm full of bites that you'll be itching all day. Now, there's not a whole lot that you can do about them. You can put screens over the windows, bar the doors, hide your children, hide your wife, because they're coming for everybody, but they'll find a way into your home nonetheless. There are some products that do repel them, though I'm pretty sure they're probably not great for your health either. In the end, it's either get bitten up and be healthy, or inhale all that repellent and be mosquito-free. Now, don't get me wrong, there are some hardcore species that can infect you with something like Zika virus or malaria, but it's fairly rare, and even then, those species can still be repelled by any kind of bug spray. Number 7. Moths now, I've always considered moths to be the kind of mice of the insect world. They're kind of flurfy and cute, but not really dangerous, and they just need to get out anyway. Moths can come in many different sizes, but they are, for the most part, a kind of tan color with big and fragile wings. Really, they're kind of like the butterflies of the insect world. Moths don't really cause too much mayhem in the home unless you've got a closet full of really nice clothes, then you should consider more drastic options to get them out. They can be fairly easy to get out all on your own. With some well-placed moth balls or gel packets, you could even evict those buggers quite quickly. All the moths pretty much do in the end is eat up your clothing and fly around the home looking for more food and crashing into your lamps. Once, when I was a kid, we saw what we called a Godzilla moth flying around, and I swear to goodness that moth was as big as my hand. Moths, they get huge. Number 6. Bed Bugs Now, I think that bed bugs, and this is probably my opinion, are the worst infestations you could possibly have, even worse than cockroaches and spiders combined. And why do I have such strong feelings against them? Well, for one, I've actually had an infestation before and it was the worst experience of my entire life. And second, they're crazy hard to get rid of completely. Bed bugs are exactly what their name infers to. They're bugs that literally live in your bed. They're able to stay there for a very, very long time and not only stay inside of your bed, but they'll actually sit and wait in the corners of your room, then reinfest any new bed that you're gonna bring in. You can even try to poison them, but they're very good at avoiding the poison as well, so there's always some leftovers afterwards. Bed bug bites can cause red swollen areas, usually along your arms and legs, and it's definitely not an infestation you should try to handle on your own. Call an exterminator as soon as you see one of these little jerks. Trust me, you're going to want to get that done ASAP. Number 5. Gnats now, I'm not really sure that gnats can infest your house. You would really have to suck at cleaning up your food messes to get a real infestation from them. They love all that sugary residue that's left over from food. But then again, perhaps because the last entry was so hardcore, I might be underselling gnats a little more. They can definitely be a nuisance. While gnats do have little mouths attached to their microscopic faces, they don't usually bite human beings. And even if they do, there's no real threat of contracting any kind of disease from them. They don't carry any diseases that can actually harm a human being. So what exactly is the problem? Well, they multiply, and they do it super fast. They're going to take over your home as fast as you can say, get out of here, gnats. But even in the event that they do take over the household, there are many, many different remedies and ways to get gnats out. So 
all of this is to say that you really shouldn't worry too much about them. Just get them out of the house. Number four, silverfish. And I thought that cockroaches were old. The silverfish is actually believed to be the oldest insect in the world, predating even dinosaurs by what scientists believe to be 100 million years. That means that the silverfish has actually survived on the earth for over 400 million years and they're still going super strong. Silverfish love humid and damp areas, so bathrooms are actually a favorite hangout spot along with pantries that contain their favorite foods like grains and cereals. They don't really ruin anything in the house, so you can relax, but they also don't bite humans, so you can relax even more. They also love dirty corners where dust and crumbs collect. Because they're so good at hiding and moving so quickly, they only come out at night. A silverfish infestation is pretty difficult to get rid of. You can kind of track them, however, because they're one of the only insects that shed their skin, you'll only be able to find their hollowed shells laying all over the place. Which is kind of gross, but still, to have something so prehistoric around the house is kind of cool. Number 3. Termites Termites, the destroyer of the home. You know how in cartoons, whenever they show termites, they're just chomping right through the house in a matter of seconds? Well, it isn't really too far from the truth. Exaggerated, yes, but termites really only need a very short amount of time to do some serious damage. Termites are not only the most destructive of insects, but they're the most destructive species in the animal kingdom. They're responsible for roughly $5 billion of property damage in the United States alone every year. There are a multitude of different ways to tell if you have an infestation, and you can even check for yourself before you call a professional. The first thing to look for is any hole in the wood of your home. These are signs that termites have begun building tunnels into your walls. This is how they dig for more wood and travel through your home kind of like mines. Then if you begin to see that the wood in your house is getting brittle and weak, that's when you know you've got a problem and you need to get it taken care of. Number 2. Flies Now this may surprise some people, but you can definitely have a house that's infested with flies. One time when I was a kid, me and my family got this cabin, and when we walked in, we saw that the ceiling was actually covered with piles of flies, and I mean a ton of them. It actually looked like the ceiling was moving. So instead of getting our money back and going somewhere else, my dad just vacuumed them up, which worked for the moment. Now I wouldn't really suggest that solution for anybody else because they always come back. House flies are actually very dangerous. These are the little guys that spread food poisoning and dysentery. You should be careful of them, especially in the springtime when they're all making their way back into your home. Flies will lay their eggs in the most disgusting of places, spreading the diseases that they carry not only by landing on you, but also your food. And they're going to poop in it. So if you do see a fly land on your food, tear that little piece off. Don't eat it. Unless maybe you want to spend the next two days pooping your pants. Then you can be my guest. Number 1. Ticks now, ticks won't really infest your home, but it's definitely one of the most deadly insects on our list. They can carry some very, very serious diseases, and they don't only spread them through their bites. These insects will actually suck your blood. They'll also hide themselves in the crevices of your body, behind your knees, in your groin, all over the place. So after leaving a wooded area or a field, you should always check yourself and your pets for ticks. Ticks are carriers of Lyme disease, which is a blood disease that can be lethal if left untreated. When you do find a tick on yourself, do not pull it off of your skin. This is something that's very important to remember, because if you do, you could accidentally only pull the body off while its head will still be buried beneath the surface. So what you must do is something like get a hot needle and dig out the head. Or if you're close enough to a hospital, just go there. You know you have a tick on you when you see a mole on your skin that you've never seen before and it has legs and it's moving around. 
The number of ways that insects have found to invade our homes is absolutely crazy and kind of sad at the same time. All they want is a home for themselves. Well, to all of you insects who are looking for a home in my home, look somewhere else. Which of these insects would make you freak out if you turned on the light and saw it? Let me know in the comments below. Also, check out the other cool stuff that's showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.